If you have any ideas of theory, if you haven't been living under a rock, you would know that FNAF is basically dead. Ultimate Custom Night came out on July the 27th this year, and with nothing since then, FNAF is now essentially dead. But don't worry, because soon enough, we may see another few games. Welcome to Science Appliance, where we apply the science. Now, I've built up about 90% of my fanbase off of FNAF alone. That's a huge statistic that should really be glanced over. If 90% of the people who watch my content came for FNAF, why would I just leave it all behind me? If you didn't know, my FNAF timeline I did ages ago is now sitting in the 40k views but my video on the Toy Chica intermissions has a whopping 300k so thank you for that. I know these videos won't get as many views as other previous ones, but that's because like I said FNAF is dead so yeah. Today we will be discussing the future of FNAF, seeing as I previously solved the FNAF timeline or at least my interpretation of it, and the only thing we need to know now is the future. How am I gonna do that? You may ask. Well, luckily I have the fine words of Scott Cawthon from the Steam post in the description below. FNAF VR 40% complete. This game is looking terrific. I am working with a company called Steel Wool to bring the VR game to life, and these guys are making some crazy stuff. If you like preparing Funtime Freddy up close in sister location, just wait until you try to do something like that in VR, up close, personal. With these huge animatronics that are just one mistake away from jumping at you. I refused to test it the first time and had my son Brayden test it instead. The repair section is one small part of the game, and, for the first time, you're going to all get to see an actual stage performance from the classic band. This sounds terrific. Firstly, my thoughts on FNAF VR were that it would just be a VR remake of the first game, however it seems as though it's all completely new gameplay and that. Not only that, but I did my research on Steel Wool Studios, and they seem to be a great company in what they do, so if you want to learn more about them, go to steelwoolstudios.com. FNAF R 10% complete. The AR game is well underway, and while I am not going to reveal any gameplay details yet, I will say that the impending doom of something hunting you will keep you up at night. Now this one has me worried the most. What I don't want this to be is a ripoff of Pokemon Go, which random fact, I still have on my phone. However, I am going in with a positive attitude and I trust Scott, I mean, when has he ever failed? To be honest, if it was a mobile game in which you collect animatronics and bring them all into one place, that would be pretty cool. But the fact that he has added that last bit with the impending doom of something hunting you tells me it's probably some kind of FNAF 4 business. Honestly, I don't know how I feel about this game, but I hope it turns out well, because I want to make videos on it. FNAF Into Madness 0% Complete This is the next game that I want to work on myself someday, a compilation of several previous gameplay ideas in the same vein as Update 2, just a free game for the fanbase. There isn't a guarantee that it will happen though, I am still recovering from the first four years. This is pretty exciting. I've seen a lot of people write theories up on this, such as the fact it could take place in Fredbear's family diner, but that makes no logical sense to me. It's a compilation of minigames. Sure, he could make it canon but I like to think of this as FNAF World 2 which can go one of two ways. AAA game 0%. There is a big deal in the works to create an incredible big budget game. I can't reveal any details yet as this project is still in its planning stages, but I am working closely with the studio involved to ensure that it delivers what I think FNAF fans will want to see. We all knew that Scott was teaming up to make either a new addition to the series or another timeline altogether, but this is big. Unlike all of the others, I like to think of this as FNAF 9. Yes, we are on the ninth game by the way. This AAA game has to be a full new game, with new animatronics, possible new mechanics, and new lore. But, where could this possibly take place? He says he wants to deliver what the FNAF fans want to see, and so I need to think in the mind of a FNAF fan, which I not hard. Personally, as a lore keeper, I would love to hear more about Chica's party world. In fact, if we take all of the locations, there are many we haven't seen, here are just a few. Obviously, 
Fredbur's family diner, but I don't think it will be there because seriously, what is there to do? There is the first location, also known as the FNAF 1 location before it became what we see in FNAF 1. In my eyes a game like this would take place just after the puppet has given life to all of the unwithered animatronics, making seven animatronics needed to fend off. Including the two extra springlock suits. Also, how about JRS? It could be possible, but I know that Scott knows that giving any more information out about juniors will change everyone's views on everything. Now yes, maybe it could just be a sister location pizzeria. After all, we haven't fended off the Rockstar animatronics yet, even though we had to in Ultimate Custom Night. And what about Del Chip? My final suggestion would be Circus Baby's Pizza World. I want to know what other animatronics were held there. This all made me think however, what if there was a sequel to FNAF 4? A game in which there are more variants of Nightmare animatronics, primarily, the fun times. But, all we can do for now is wait until more information is given out about these games. If you have any ideas of theories, make sure to leave a comment below, and make sure to subscribe, but for now, thank you for watching and goodbye.